If getting organized is one of your goals for 2022, you can't overlook your fridge. A tiny, a tidy fridge can actually help us reach health goals and minimize food waste. Here to share some clean out tips is Kristen Hong, the author of the new book, Fridge Love. Kristen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, guys. So happy to be here with you today. Well, yeah, you, we we are so jealous of your fridge. The whole thing. The whole deal. <laughs> yeah, so, everything. So what, how do you get started? I think that's the biggest problem. I think it's just so overwhelming. Yeah, you know, the biggest tip I have for organizing and just getting started is think outside your crisper drawers because mm. so many times we're rummaging through bins, things are getting pushed to the back mm -hmm. of the shelf. Um, and you're forgetting things, and that's where food waste really happens. So I like to think of front of fridge, front of mind, and you're keeping all of that beautiful produce uh, visible and inspiring. Ah. And how much more likely are you to actually eat your produce when it looks like this? So this ah. is my problem. <laughs> that's so like fridge is, porn. Ah. <laughs> yes, exactly. So this is an example um, of what I call the chopped fridge goal from my book. And what you do is you start off by taking 15 to 30 minutes to pre-chop your produce. And it makes it way easier to actually eat in right. and eat healthier during the week. So, <laughs> so I know that I'm standing in front of all these fancy containers and jars. Mm -hmm. um, but I just want to say that you can use and raid your recycling bin instead. Oh. So, yeah. So here okay. are some old pasta jars. And again, you're using glass visible so you can open that I fridge seat. Exactly, at a <laughs> glance. This is doable, guys. Yeah. Wow, I really <laughs> the bigger pasta jars also are really great for um, salad jar preps that you can take to work too. Oh. Uh, I need to get into prep work more. Um, you know, I am famous for opening the the, the crisper drawer and there's like a bag of old parsley that's Story like rotting oh, in literally. the bottom of the bag. Um, what is your recommendation for keeping those herbs that we don't use right away and the vegetables just fresher longer? Yeah, so I call it the tenting technique. And what this does is if you don't feel like you want to chop veggies for the week, it's another way of getting things visible, pulled up to the front of the fridge. And also it's going to maximize shelf life. So what you'll do with this really works well for either sturdy veggies like asparagus, mm -hmm. celery, and also veggies that have their greens attached like the radishes, mm -hmm. carrots, mm -hmm. greens, and even um, beet stems work really well like this. And then when you're doing like cilantro and parsley and those fresh leafy herbs, trim off the ends, fill up a jar about the third of the way with water, and the key is covering mm. it because mm. the fridge like actually a plant. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's like a terrarium kind of. <laughs> and what you're doing is you're actually protecting it from the really cool drying air on the fridge because that's what causes oh. things to go. I need to change my life. I'm yeah. so happy that you're here. Really quickly, let's try to squeeze this in. You store okay. the scraps of vegetables, and I can't for the life of me think why I would save the scraps. Yeah, so keep all of like the skins and all the bits that you would usually put into compost. Right. And you can store them up in a bin in the freezer. Okay. And then you can make a really delicious veggie broth with that. And I think there's going to be a recipe up on today.com from the book for the yeah. veggie stuff. And I like Even to your scraps are organized. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, I'm, I'm really depressed. Yeah, I, I mean, think. Uh, well, hey, hey, Kristen, really quickly, uh, uh, leftovers. You know, like, uh, I mean, we've got all these foil yes, packets and too. stuff. Mm -hmm. I look in the fridge. And then I'm like, something stinks. i got to figure out why is it smell or <laughs> yeah. whatever. How, what, you, what about leftovers? Help me with the leftovers. Okay, so leftovers, you can create a zone in the fridge. A zone. Like a, bin, a bin that says leftovers if you need to have that front of mind so that you can keep it in an area. So I kind of staged that here where you can see on this side, um, in this area, there's some I leftovers. I love that. The leftovers They're like, zone. Mom, I'm hungry. Go to zone four, baby. Wow. <laughs> Kristen, this was incredible. You're, you've got to come back because this is, oh, this is game changing. To. We're going to have you back. Thank you so much. Uh, and for that vegetable, <laughs> uh, vegetable broth recipe that Kristen mentioned and more tips on how to st store produce, go to today.com slash food. The book Fridge Love, out next week.
We've got to get this. Uh, you can find know. more on today.com slash shop. Third hour of today, we'll be right back. It's the knowledge I didn't know I needed. The leftover zone. <laughs> we all figured you probably did. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> literally just...